Hi, I'm Molly McAllister from the National Center for Atmospheric Research. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Wharf Hydro online resources. So to find Wharf Hydro, in Google type Wharf Hydro, should come up as the first result. This takes you to our Wharf Hydro Modeling System website, which is a one-stop shopping for all things Wharf Hydro. As you can see, we provide an overview. We provide a listing of applications and collaborations around the world, most notably the U.S. National Weather Service NOAA National Water Model. We provide access to the publicly available and supported versions of Wharf Hydro under Model Code. It provides release notes, a technical description, and the code downloadable from here. You can also access the GitHub re development repository where you can gives you a snapshot of model development in real time of an operational and community model. We provide access to user guides and a technical description for both standalone mode and coupled mode. We also provide test case user guides, and an output variable matrix. Our technical description provides the most in-depth information about the modeling system. If you're a new model user, the FAQ page is the, first, is the best place to go to get started. It provides software installation requirements, information about an example setup, where should you start and modeling best practices, where you can report a bug or contribute, and a, a plethora of other information about getting started with the modeling system. We also provide pre-processing tools, utility scripts, both open source and with um, ArcGIS, and usage guidance. We provide model forcing regridding scripts, both open source and regridding script packages, which regrid the meteorological forcing data to a smaller, completely encompassed Wharf Hydro domain. We provide test cases, which include prepared geospatial data input files, configured name lists, and forcing data for sample regions or domains. These can be used to test your model build as well as explore model configurations. But make sure that your test case version and your code version match. We provide access to our Wharf Hydro evaluation tool, and we highlight resources, online talks and webinars, and presentations of Wharf Hydro usage. Our online training material suite is complete with PDF presentation files, online lessons that walk you through input pre-processing steps as well as model compilation and various model simulations with different configurations, which utilizes Docker technology and Jupyter lab technologies. We also provide cloud-based virtual training and a listing is available further down on our website of upcoming trainings and events. We also have lists of publications utilizing Wharf Hydro. And if you've written a publication, we'd love to have you submit it to our, on our submissions form. We spotlight community Wharf Hydro modeling system users and their research. We host a user's forum where users can help each other by sharing inquiries, solving problems, and discussing topics related to Wharf Hydro. Here we also provide information about job openings and tool announcements and code release announcements. You can contact us through our Wharf Hydro help desk if you have an issue or are just an inquiry about Wharf Hydro. You'll reach the development team. 
and you can subscribe for updates and announcements for an email list. You can stay current on the activity with Wharf Hydro by following us on Twitter. This concludes our overview of our Wharf Hydro online resources. We hope that you'll become an active community member.